guys, it's Beverly. Okay, I wanted to come on here and show you a couple things. And here is a continuous granny that I'm working on. And what I've decided to do was I'm using a black Ogo and um, the rest of the peacock Ogos that I had. So I started out, you know, with the granny switching the color every other row to black. And now what I'm going to do is four rows of black and then four rows of the multi. And it's just going to be ever how big as it is. And I have it in my granny square bag. So it's kind of a match. <laughs> I'm using, what am I using? I'm using a J-hook. J-hook on this. So I need to put a, a cut tag on here. Okay, so that's what that project is. And then this is the project from Christy. So far, so I have the bottom or the base of it done. And I'm working on the side, so let's see how many rows. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 17. And I have to go 28. So I have about 11 more rows for my bag. And remember I told you guys, just do two magic circles, wrong sides together, and then look for um a spiral hat pattern you know maybe that divinity hat pattern might work but see it's just a spiral and it's coming out great and it's using the three ply cotton i'm on the first cake still and it's starting to fall apart uh and i'm using an h hook so this is the Mary Maxim challenge from Christy at Crochet Creations by Christy. Now I also wanted to mention the challenge that I gave Christy. I gave Christy the challenge of making a basket. And let's see, the basket pattern was from Krista Cagle. Oh, there might be some noise outside, whatever. Krista Kago. And uh, I'm going to be linking the Ralvary link below. And that uh, pattern is a free one that you can print. And I created a link on my Facebook page, guys. And I want you to post your baskets. Um... I know that Joanne Burgess made three. I want to see them, Joanne. I think Evelyn is making one. And surprise me, guys. I want to see your baskets, okay? Um, I'm just so excited that you guys have all jumped on board and decided to make baskets. And Christy, she even have a, had a give, giveaway for those that stuck around uh, on Sunday to work on her basket with them <clears throat> so i really want to see those baskets and see what you guys are doing uh, okay the next project i'm going to be working on is the crochet archway throw crochet archways throw by yarnspirations and guess what it uses red heart ogos <laughs> This bag came from my friend Evelyn. Now, I already used all the Ogos that came in this bag from Evelyn. But I kept it around for more Ogos. It has B, B on it. Save our bees. Isn't that cool? So, I, I thought I could put more Ogos in here. So, I have so many. Nine Ogos. Am I serious? No. But this pattern calls for eight, so that's good. Uh, this is the Colorway Newsprint. 
and I'm going to be starting this next. I think it uses single crochets and I decided to double them or some kind of something uh, or half doubles or something but there it is on the back and I have the exact thing to do it calls for eight and I have nine so I'm going to be doing that and that's what's starting next now I also have some yarn that I haven't showed you guys let me get it it's time to bring this out I believe that I got this fiber aisle fiber aisle fair aisle excuse me fair aisle fair aisle chunk liberty chunky it's a bulk a bulking with seven ounces 200 grams Number five bulky recommends a G hook. Hmm. Uh, it's not really that bulky looking. I need to think of it. But what I'm gonna do with this is let's see if it opens. Nah, it's not gonna open. And being said it's white, I don't wanna, you know, mess it up. And there's no holes in these bags or nothing. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to make the study of snow I think it's called by Mikey at the crochet crowd um every time I see a blanket and it's like oh I'm loving it oh I love it I love it it ends up being that one so I have six skeins of this yarn I think I got it in a mystery bag from Mary Maxim and I want to make that blanket so that is on the list I'm going to turn on my printer um, and my laptop and print that pattern out because I really think that I need to make that blanket because it just keeps on and on bugging me so that's one of the things I'm going to do so so I've got to finish that thing for Christy, finish that continuous granny, and I'm going to start this blanket um, with the newsprint Ogos and do the study of snow. So I'm going to link these patterns below this video, and if you guys want to make them with me, please let me know. Post your progress on Facebook on my Facebook page. Um, that's, that's it for today, guys. I made it through a little bit. I had to pause the video. I'm getting better every day. The doctor said another week of Mucinex to loosen this stuff up. I'm so lucky. Always ends up in my chest. Every time. But other than that, we're doing good. The cruise was great, you guys. It's, it's too many days now for me to tell the whole story, but... We went um, for seven days, my husband and I, so I didn't go with another group because I know there was some cr crocheters that went. I didn't go, it was just me and my husband, and which was wonderful. It was just great, you know. Uh, we took a nap every day. You know, when I'm at home, there's so many things I want to do, you know, and when you're on a cruise, you know, there's a lot there can be some idle time and what ended up happening with us was um, there was some rough weather at perfect day at Coco Cay so the boat um, could not dock the ship could not dock at perfect day at Coco Cay and I had plans you know for a perfect day at Coco Cay I didn't have an excursion but I was gonna do a train ride and we were gonna enjoy the lunch and, you know, I have to stay out of the sun, but that was a plan, and so we had to cancel that. The captain said that had he let us off, we would all had to wear life jackets. <laughs> so he didn't let us off. So they gave us an extra uh, seven, eight hours at St. Thomas. We didn't get off the ship at any of the ports. Because we've seen St. Thomas, we've seen St. Martin, we've done the excursions, you know. 
So we just enjoy, you know, the boat, the day at the sea, you know, day at sea. And you can sit closer to the pool. There's less, you know, crowded. Instead of going in the adult section, you can be out in the regular section with the pool there. And near the ice cream cone guy. <laughs> Yeah, they, you know, you can't get your own ice cream anymore. You have to let this guy do it. And then we went to the ice skating show. Uh, I went to what they called the Nightmare Kitchen Show. And it was fun because they had some kids from the audience and then some adults from the audience work with two of the chefs on board the ship. And it was fun. You know, they had a contest for the appetizer, the entree, and the dessert. That was fun. I saw that. The aquatic show, oh my gosh, off the back of the ship, it was just absolutely beautiful, the aquatic show. We saw um, one called Voices, a show called Voices, and everything was a cappella. And uh, they had people on stage, but then they had also pictures of people singing, and they their a cappella version blended with the people on stage. It was It was beautiful. Um, they had a laser light show type thing, you know, good guy, bad guy. Um, it was funny because with the bad guy, good guy, bad guy thing, we were in the front row off to the side and that people would come out, you know, to scare everybody and they came and they scared my husband first. It was so funny. And then they scared me and it was so funny for him, you know. Because we were right there where they were coming out, you know, in front of us to join on the stage and and down the aisles and things like that. So that was real fun. Uh, we don't have a cruise book right at the moment. Uh, you know, because we can... Living in uh, Florida, that's what an advantage is, you know. Not that we go on too many. We went on two last year and this is our first one this year. But you don't have to consider the price of the airfare, you know, so it makes it much nicer. Even though we do, do live like two hours from Port Canaveral and, you know, stuff like that. We still have to drive, but not enough to stay overnight. And as I, um, I was mentioning, when we left through the port, they were so organized with the parking and it was the same coming home. So we have decided, even though it costs more, it's just so much easier to park at the port than park off site and try to be shuttled in. It's cheaper, you know, than being right at the port, but it's just so much easier, you know, get your luggage and walk to your car, you know, park and then walk your luggage to the port or, you know, when you're leaving. So we decided to do that and everything else was pretty good, you know. Uh, my husband has an issue with the formal night, okay. Some people love getting all dressed up and he doesn't. I mean, we've been there, done that, you know. So um, we stayed away one formal night, but the major D, you know, he just kind of had a fit. He's following us all over the ship. No, 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 come. Don't worry about that, you know. So that was so nice. The people on the Wonders of the Sea. Now, right now, the Wonder of the Sea, uh, Royal Caribbean is the largest ship they're, they're claiming. And the next one will be coming is the Icon. Now, there was over 6,000 passengers. And you wouldn't have known it. There's just so many things to do. The ship is so large. The only time that most of the people come together is um, in the Windjammer, okay? You know, uh, the buffet, the big, large buffet. You will notice it, that there's a lot of people. You will notice there's a lot of people at the pool area. But, again, they have an adult section called the Solarium that isn't, it isn't crowded. There's plenty of seats, you know, um... But it truly was. I mean, you would get an elevator by yourself, and you couldn't believe, you know, there's 6,000 people on this ship, you know. But everybody's busy doing something, and you don't really notice it, you know. 
when you first get on the ship, you know, everybody's hungry, you know, so they go to the wind jammer. Well, everybody's, you know, crowded and stuff there. And then, you know, um, everybody splits off and maybe goes to the dining room for dinner. So you don't really notice it that much. And I can tell I'm starting to talk too much. So I'm getting ready to cough. So I'm going to tell you guys bye for now. Thanks so much for watching my videos. I'm going to list these patterns below that I mentioned. And you guys have a great day. Love you. Bye.